In this video, I'm going to talk about how to calculate the Manhattan distance using NumPy in Python programming language. So please stay tuned. Now let's talk about the theory behind calculating the Manhattan distance. Suppose that we have two points, P1 and P2, and P1 means point 0.1, P2 means point 0.2. So these are the coordinates of point 0.1, and these are the coordinates of point 0.2. And you can see here are the x1 coordinates, and here are the x2 coordinates of each point, and here are the x3 coordinates of each point. And remember that although this example is a three-dimensional example, you can see we have three coordinates, but this can be generalized to higher dimensions as well. So in order to calculate the Manhattan distance between two points like P1 and P2, here is the formula to calculate the Manhattan distance. The formula says it is the summation of the absolute value of differences in their coordinates. And what do I mean? For example, in this example, as you can see, the delta x1, I mean the difference between their, their x1 coordinates is minus 1. 0 minus 1 is equal to minus 1. And the absolute value of that is 1. So let's write this in the bottom of the page. So that's it. And let's go to another coordinate. The delta x2 is 0. So the absolute value is 0 as well. So let's write it here. And also the delta x3, 2 minus 1 is 1. And the absolute value is 1. So in order to calculate the Manhattan distance between these two points, we need to sum these absolute values. So I'm going to add up these numbers, 1 plus 0 plus 1, which is equal to 2. So here's how to calculate the Manhattan distance. But now let's talk about another distance, which is called norm p distance. Here's the formula for the norm p distance. And we don't want to talk about the norm p distance, but as you can see, the Manhattan distance is a special case of norm p distance. So the Manhattan distance is a special case of the norm p distance in which p is equal to 1. So if you put p equal to 1 in this formula, then you will get the Manhattan distance. So remember that the Manhattan distance is a special case of the norm p distance in which p is equal to 1. So now let's talk about how to calculate the Manhattan distance in Python programming language using the NumPy package. So first of all, I import NumPy as in P. Then I simply define two arrays, which are the coordinates of my points. This is point 1, and this is the coordinates of point 1. This is point 2, and this is the coordinates of point 2. And now I want to calculate the Manhattan distance of these two points. In order to do so, we simply type NP, which is that NumPy package. And then I simply use the linear algebra section of the NumPy package. This NumPy package provides different sections for different things. For example, for, for example, there is a section called linear algebra, which is used for doing linear algebra stuff. And also there is another subsection, which is called random, which is used for doing random stuff. So now in this video for calculating the Manhattan distance, you want to use a section of this NumPy package, which is called linear algebra. And then I want to calculate something called norm. So I want to use this function, which is called norm. And in order to calculate the Manhattan distance between these two points, now I should pass P2 minus P1, and I should pass ORD equals to 1. Because as I've said, the Manhattan distance is a special kind of norm p distance in which p is equal to 1, in which ord is equal to 1. I mean the order is 1. So that's it. And now I store the result in a variable, let's say called d, and if I print d in a fire on the code, you can see here is the output, which is the Manhattan distance between these two points. And also, if you have points with two coordinates, there is no problem. You can calculate all this stuff with the same way. So if I run the code again, you can see now the Manhattan distance between these two points is 1. And also, we can do the, the same thing for higher dimensions. For example, let's have such a point like these. And if I run the code again, you can see now the Manhattan distance is 6. And now maybe you ask how to calculate the Manhattan distance between a bunch of points, not necessarily two points. For example, suppose that we have 10 points, 20 points, or etc., and we want to calculate the Manhattan distance matrix for those points. In order to do so, you can watch this video, which is on the screen now.